Hey lovies. So today we have another unboxing video. I think I'm going to start doing these regularly and today you actually get two. So um, one's coming up later. So if you watched my last unboxing video, it was a drone flute I got from Southern Cross Flutes, which I have since learned to play a little bit better. This is phenomenal. I love the drone. I love everything about it. And this is one of five that I have coming. So I have the other three coming in November. Oh no, I'm sorry. The other two coming in November. Excuse my wet shirt. I just washed my hair and if you have dreadlocks or anyone knows about dreadlocks, you know that they will continuously drip water for hours after you wash them. So um, when I discovered that the drone flute, because of the width of it and because it's just it's just a large flute, um, I wasn't able to easily learn some techniques that I really wanted to learn, you know, now. Um, I'm that type of person, I like things like now. Um, so I went ahead and I looked at what they had in stock and I saw this beautiful five hole beginner's love flute. Now, when you're first playing Native American flute, you usually keep the third finger down anyway, leaving you five holes. That's why it's called the ma uh, minor pentatonic scale, because it's five. Uh, so this flute kind of omits that third finger process. And here's the box that came in again. It's a beautifully packed, very cushioned box. It got here in... <sighs> Let's see, I ordered it over the weekend, last weekend. They shipped it out on Thursday, um, and I got it Monday. So today's Monday um, in New York for me. And as you can tell, like I'm excited, but I'm not as excited as I was for the first one. Um, but I am still super excited and again, you know, same deal. It's packaged beautifully. It, it has cushioning, there's bubble wrap around it. They take very good care of their instruments and they ship them. They ship them extremely well. There's like my little invoice, um, a handwritten thank you note that says, enjoy your flute from Anton. Um, one thing I do have to mention about Southern Cross Flutes is there is a woman, her name is Allie, and she's their office manager, I think, um, and she has been corresponding with me, emailing back and forth about all of these flutes, and I constantly have had questions and adjustments, and I ordered a, um, I decided to change the, to the totem, which is this piece to be carved into an owl for my grandfather flute and then I bought the love flute and then I, I talked to Todd, which he offers um, private lessons when he's available, which isn't that often you gotta catch him. And you know, for me, I'm 16 hours behind them. So I was lucky enough to catch him. And um, we talked a little bit about um, you know, the beginner's love flute and how I felt like, ooh, it's so small compared <laughs> to mine. Um, we talked a little bit about, you know, other flutes and I said, well, I'm gonna have two love flutes, a grandfather flute, a drone flute um, by the end of the year. And they're all kind of in different keys. The grandfather flute's gonna be in A minor, but it's a low A minor. This flute is in A minor, but it's a mid A minor. And I asked him if he had, um, you know, any forest flutes, which are the high octave flutes, which are very small and portable. And um, he kindly said, yes, yes, he does. He was finishing one for the website and I just happened to grab it before they put it up. So I, I will have that coming, hopefully end of July, early August. It's July 20th today. So hopefully I'll have that one um, in a few weeks to do an unboxing video with you for that. And then the other two, 
unfortunately guys you won't, you won't get to see this until november now just feeling it through the bag i can feel that it's a much more it, it's more easy to handle and um it's much smaller so but again it came in this beautiful velvet red bag which keeps dust out it keeps everything oh wow Oh, the smell of the wood is just fantastic. So I kind of stopped talking mid-sentence there when I, when I opened this. The totem is much smaller. <laughs> so like, let's just do a quick comparison. This is my, as my left flute may be a little bit longer, my, actually the same, the same length my drone flute is a lot bigger so it's it's kind of hard to learn techniques like sliding and half holes and all those kinds of things when uh, you're not even used to playing flute this is my first woodwind instrument and this is a little little teeny totem so I'm gonna come up a little closer so you can see what's going on here so we have the Southern Cross flutes logo burned in there beautifully. We have these burn marks on the top and on the bottom. Uh, you know, it's a very, it's a very, um, I don't want to say plain, but it's, it's not, it's not like an extravagant, um, looking flute versus my drone flute, which has like the malachite in it. And it has, this malachite piece and it has a different wood for the mouthpiece it's a very easy beautiful looking flute it's very simple that's the word I'm looking for simple because I don't think anything they make is plain um, so I'm just gonna slide the totem on so if you don't know about totems you're new to flutes and I'm assuming if you're if you searched this video and you found me that if you're considering playing a Native American style flute. Um, so one thing about the Native American style flute that is most important, which you will learn if you do a little bit more research, is the totem needs to line up with the true sound hole, which is the, usually the bottom hole, the two. Um, and if it doesn't line up, well, you're not gonna get that beautiful flute sound. I'm assuming I don't need to, oh, that's so easy. That's so much easier to put my fingers on. Let's see um, how this sounds. Oh, it's beautiful. That's so different because I'm so used to these very, very, very large finger holes, which um, they also like they do it ergonomically. So when you play the flute, you're if you're right handed, your right hands on the bottom, your left hands on top. I know it kind of sounds weird, but um, they, they make it ergonomic. So your fingers fit perfectly into the holes. Um, in this one, the the holes are much smaller, more like a recorder and they're straight down the middle because it's, it's, it's small love flute. So, and I'm happy to have two because, you know, there's this thing that happens with um, flutes called wetting out. If I were to play my drone flute for a few minutes, I would be able to show you, um, especially with harder woods, you get moisture, condensation buildup because look, the air in your lungs is, is warmer than the air outside of the flute and the flute takes a little bit while to warm up so you get condensation between the totem and the flute um and inside the flute so you have to uh, kind of be mindful of that and if you start to hear like squeaking and you know your fingers are covering the holes and it's like wait a minute what am i doing wrong um take your totem off and give it just a wipe with the microfiber cloth or your shirt or whatever <laughs> whatever you got laying around just make sure it's not rough uh make sure it's a smooth towel or something that you're 
rubbing it with as to not disturb the finish. So that's this. This is their beginner's love flute. It's very affordable in their range of flutes. Um, I love Southern Cross flutes. I have to say, like their customer service, when I mentioned Allie before, she has corresponded with me day after day and I have sent them like 50 emails, like a crazy person because of how excited and how into the flute I was. And, and, and you know, I even took it as far as getting in touch with Todd. So I'm really interested in how my forest flute's gonna sound because to me, this is really high um, in tone and pitch. So I'm really interested to see how high this forest flute is. This is an A minor. My forest flute's gonna be in D minor. They're all in minors. Um, but I'm, I think you can get some in majors if you go on their site, Southern Floss, uh, Southern Floss, <laughs> southerncrossflutes.com. Um, they have custom, you can design your own flute. Like you can do whatever you want, really. Like you can pick the woods and that's probably what I'm gonna do for my um, F sharp minor love flute, which I'm probably not gonna get until next year. I don't know, I just have this thing that I, I really would like an F sharp minor love flute. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that myself. I'm gonna have that be customized. And um, you know, I already know what words I'm gonna use for the mouthpiece and, and they, they, you can edit this end piece. So I like matching mouthpiece um, and pieces and nest. You can kind of see the nest better here. Actually, I don't really have nests on these flutes. So if you go on their site, the nest is the area that surrounds the totem. And you can, you can change that wood to match the mouthpiece and the end piece. You can just get the end piece a different color. You can just get the mouthpiece a different color. It's whatever you want to do. And of course, if you contact them, they will advise you if you're looking at things and you're like, wait, I don't, I don't know what this means. I, I don't know how to order a custom flute. Allie will help you. She is the most fantastic customer service representative of any company that I have ever dealt with. She is patient. She is forgiving. She is lovely. She's loving. I have never gotten an email back from her that said, okay, please stop emailing me, <laughs> which if I was her, I probably would have been like, okay, stop, you know, sending me five emails in a row because I would send them one and then I would be like, oh, but wait, I have this question. Oh, but wait, and I have this question. And, oh, but wait, wait, wait. Um, so Allie is, Allie, if you're watching this, um, thank you. I, 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 I can't express my appreciation and my gratitude for you. Uh, at your place at Southern Cross Flutes because you have made this process so lovely for me. Um, and I think that speaks volumes about a company when they have good customer service, when they love their customers. And when I spoke to Todd, um, he was very loving. He was very understanding. He, he, he encouraged me to kind of just play something. He was like, just don't look at, don't look at tabs, just play something. And I did, and he was able to kind of identify the issue that I was having. Now, my major issue that I have is this note. Hear how it sounds a little squeaky? So I'm having a hard time with the, uh, it's called the minor ninth when you uh, have a six hole flute and you leave the first one open and you're also going an octave up from the flute. So there's something called, you know, going into the second octave um, with your flutes, which this kind of takes away that, um, let's see, let's see if it takes away that little bit of stress that I was feeling. I gotta learn how to cover up the holes properly because it's a little smaller. Oh, that is divine. So if you're thinking about getting flutes, because this, this video is getting a little long now. <laughs> um, and like I said in the, meeting, in the beginning, hi, I'm Jackie, by the way. I'm, I'm the artist uh, 
and yogi, yoga teacher behind Watercolor Gypsy Art and Wellness. Uh, and I'm using YouTube right now because I don't have my site ready to launch. So I'm gonna start doing some art tutorials. I'm gonna start sharing with you like some supplies cause that's like really my passion, my music. Um, whatever I can share with you guys. And, and as you can see, I don't have like this, this extravagant YouTube studio here. I'm just, I'm just putting, putting it out there. So, um, if you ever thought about starting a YouTube or you want to, you have a gift or something that you want to share, something you want to say, something you want to review, don't be scared. Just do it. It's the internet. Some people might be like, Hey, I don't like you. Whatever with them, you know, just do your thing and don't, don't hold back. Cause I held back starting my YouTube for years. And now I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna review my new products. So, and I was so excited about Southern Cross Flutes that I was like, this is the product I'm going to review. So just, just to end the video on the flute, because that's what the point of this video is, is the flute and I kind of go off on tangents. It's made um, from heart lima wood. It has beautiful burn marks to give it a little bit of an embellishment, but it's not extravagant looking. It's very simple. It sounds absolutely lovely. I don't know if my ear pods can really pick up the sound that well. I do have a microphone. I'm using my phone right now because my phone gives me a better picture and I didn't feel like going to get my tripod and my, my video camera. So um, yeah, this is a beautifully made flute. You can see the craftsmanship. Let's see if it will focus for me. On every centimeter of this beautiful, this beautiful flute. So I know there's other flute makers out there. Um, I might look into them. I might order a flute or two from them just to just to, um, you know, give them an opportunity to review them as well. Uh, but this, this is the, oh, the totem is so smooth. <laughs> so this is what the flute looks like without the, the totem. Maybe I should do a separate flute anatomy video. So if I take the totem off, it slides off like very easily with this beautiful leather strap. And this is sound hole, true sound hole. So that's what this, the totem is covering. And you can see the totem is also like, they don't, they don't miss a spot when they make their flutes. So if you're thinking about ordering a flute, a like, you know, true Native American flute, and you're serious about playing, um, think about, think about ordering from Southern Cross Flutes. Uh, you have DHL shipping for $33 and you get it in five days once it's shipped or less. Um, so, and the customer service is phenomenal. They are there to serve you. They are there to help you. They want you to succeed in playing this instrument. And it's a very easy instrument to play. If you could play the recorder, you could play the Native American flute. So, but the one thing I will mention is play it with your soul. Allow yourself to shine through. It's a very soulful instrument. It plays to your soul, for your soul, with your soul. So... That's it, that's all I got for you today. Actually, that's a lie. That's all I got for you on flutes today. Um, when I get set up a little, maybe in like half hour, hour, I'm gonna give you guys a nice review of something called the Leader Easel, which is a portable uh, easel that attaches to a uh, tripod that you can bring anywhere. And it has this beautiful addition where you can put your palette on it. So. I'm really excited for that review. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review as long as my last one of Southern Cross Flutes Flutes. Look forward to the next uh, three that are coming and I hope to see you soon. Namaste everyone. Enjoy your day.